lead for Camino to Cobb. Uh, this uh, Camino to Cobb is a walk from London and Bristol. Uh, started in London on the 5th of September and in Bristol on the 9th of September and we're walking to the United Nations Conference of Parties which is taking place in Glasgow starting on the 31st of October. Um, so we're into week four we walk, uh, we walk about 10 miles a day for six days a week. We've done nearly 250 miles now, so we're nearly halfway. The reason for the journey is pretty much uh, to, raise, to raise awareness um, for uh, the, climate, the climate emergency. The walk itself is really just a vehicle. Um, for the outreach and the conversations that we're having along the way. Hello, my name is Melanie Nazareth. I'm uh, the strategic and spiritual um, lead for the Camino to Cop. And one of the things that I do is organize the outreach events, which we do mostly in the evenings. And wherever we go in a community, we offer them the opportunity and we hold uh, a discussion with the community and that will take the form of us explaining why we're walking the Camino and what uh, inspired us to do so. And then we talk a lot about climate justice because that is one of the important things that we're walking for is to draw attention to the fact that although we are facing the same storm, we're not all in the same boat. And so we talk about the need for rich countries like the UK to um, help out the uh, poorer countries by taking a sharper cut in emissions to free up the carbon budget for uh, countries that are developing. And uh, one of those places is the Solomon Islands, Melanesia, and tonight we're going to be having an event at St. Mary's uh, Parish Church in Cheadle uh, with a focus on the Solomon Islands. Hi, my name's Mike Loach. I'm the vicar of Christ Church in High Bevington and of St. Paul's in Tranmere. And I'm joining today with the pilgrims on the Camino to Cop uh, walk to Glasgow, getting there in time for the climate conference. And it's been an absolute pleasure to be with so many people who are so fired up about the environment and thinking about uh, practical solutions, but also about how to change the way we feel. Um, we're really excited in Chester Diocese because we've just signed up for uh, the Eco Diocese um, uh, movement with AROSHA. Uh, it means that we're going to try and get our uh, bronze, silver and gold awards and that means moving our churches um, ever more closer to becoming uh, carbon neutral, working towards this net zero achievement in 2030. So I really hope you'll all join in with that and uh, yeah, hope to see you soon.